Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video of mine. My name is the IT guy and today we'll be looking at how to change the swap partition to a swap file. So uh, to know whether you are actually running a swap partition, you can just uh, type this command here. So swap on minus s. This will show you whether you are uh, using a swap partition or not. And if you are, then the, uh, the partition name will be listed over here. So what do we want to do first? We first of all want to disable the partition. So we want to do swap off, uh, actually sudo swap off, and then device name. So slash dev slash dm0 in this case. So now our swap, if we do swap on minus s, we'll see that there is no result at all. So if you don't have a swap partition enabled, then this will be the case as well. So if we would type in swap on minus s, then we will see no um, device listed over here. So that Right now, that is because we switched it off. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to remove it from the FS, uh, FS tab. So we, we don't want to mount it. So we want to do sudo nano slash Etsy slash FS tab. And right over here, we'll see that there is one partition in particular, the crypt swap partition. And we need to comment that out by adding this uh, little square over here. I would do control O and save that. And this way the crypt swap, so the swap partition will no longer be mounted. So if you don't have crypt swap, if you just have the, um, if we would go look into the disks uh, application over here, let's see the swap partition and over here, the device is also listed. So the device in this case is listed on the dev slash NVMe uh, zero and one P five. So this is the fifth partition, the last partition. It's about four gigs in size. Um, if we would go and use LSBLK, we would we could see the, the that's specific partition as well, and we'll see that this is the partition and this is the encrypted partition on that partition. So this is actually the the swap partition encrypted, and it's always encrypted because if you save your work, then people can no longer cannot just uh, read out your uh, your session without any uh, encrypt encryption key so it's always encrypted so what we want to do now is uh, so we disabled the we disabled the partition in the um, in the FS tab file and now we want to create a swap file so how we do that is by doing sudo DD. So this is the disk imaging tool actually built into Linux. So in file is going to be um, just the zero. So dev zero. So the zero. So this is just the null file. So if you ever want to redirect the command to um, uh, a certain to the void, if you if you if you would call it, you would direct it to the zero uh, to the zero dev, and then the out file will be um, the out file will be your um, swap file itself so over here you can choose where you want to store that I'm just gonna do it straight into the root partition uh, there's no need to place it anywhere else so I'm gonna call this swap file and then the block size can be uh, 1024 and right here uh, the count is where you will calculate. So uh, over here, I calculated the amount of so one gigabyte. So you're gonna do this in gigabytes. I'm gonna do this in gigabytes. This is gonna be in gigabytes. So uh, about and it's gonna be uh, it's going to be um, in, um, in gigabytes. So you wanna do it in gigabytes. And what we want to do right now is we want to say like I have we go into the about section. You can see that we have um, 16 gigs of memory. So if we want to create the swap partition, we want to take about the same amount of memory, uh, the same uh, amount, uh, the same file size as our system memory. So we want to have 16 gigabytes in Kibi bytes. So this would be 
15,000. No, this is not correct. Gigabytes. Google auto corrected me here. So 16 gib B bytes and kibby bytes is going to be 16, 16 million, uh, 777,216 kibby bytes. Let's go ahead and copy that. Well, let's paste that in here. Of course, we want to remove the spaces first. So this is going to be uh, a file that has 16 gigs in size. So you want to make sure that you have at least 16 gigs in size on the disks um, on the disk available. Of course, if you want to place a swap file in any the swap file in any other uh, disk, then you just have to copy the the path of that disk in the out file. So you can place it wherever you want. I'm just going to do it in my root file, in my root um, my root directory. So I'm going to just place it straight in there. So this is what we want to do right now, and this is going to take a while. So we're going to create a uh, swap file that is 16 gigabytes in size. And the block size can just be 1024. That is good. We just want to wait for a couple of seconds here, or maybe a couple of minutes even, for the system to complete. this particular command. Okay, so there we go. They copied everything. So the file has been created. And now we want to uh, go into that. So we want to sudo chmod. We want to do the 600 version. We want to do slash swap file. So what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves read and write permission to this file and nobody else. So this is just for security reasons. You don't have to do this if you are the only person on the system. You don't have to do this, but this is just the best practice. And now we want to sudo make swap. So you're going to enable the swap partition again, and then we want to define where that swap partition is. So we want to make swap slash swap file. And there we go. So they set the swap file to so they set the swap partition or the, the, the swap file to this to the new file we uh, created and now we want to enable that swap file so we want to do sudo swap on slash swap file what we want to do if we do swap on minus s now then we'll see that the slash swap file is the file that we're using right now and this is the one we want to And now we want to go back to our sudo etsy, oops, sudo nano slash etsy slash fs tab. And then we want to go into um, the last entry over here. We want to do slash swap file. And we're going to do none. This is no partitions on here. Slash swap sw00. Uh, yeah. Okay, save that and then exit. And right now we can exit again. And now let's reboot the system and see if everything worked out the way it should have. So now the system has rebooted. Let's go into our terminal over here. And let's do the same again. So swap on minus S. And the swap file is still present. And now we want to make sure that uh, we, want, we can actually use the swap partition. And we want to see if the system it goes into hibernation. So I'm going to check that right now and see if that worked. So I'm recording right now, and uh, you guys didn't see this, of course, but I closed OBS. Uh, I didn't close OBS, and it's still running in the background, so the uh, the session was actually saved. So the whole process of changing your swap partition to a swap file uh, was completely successful, and it works perfectly. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and if you did, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.